Hey, I'm Eric Dunno, and I am a classical saxophonist. Um, I play professionally. I also teach professionally. Um, I'd like to try some different mouthpieces with my soprano sax. Um, trying to find something that perhaps has a little bit more projection uh, than the mouthpiece that I've been using, but I love the sound of it. So I've been trying a few. I just want you to hear some differences um, that I'm hearing uh, when I try different mouthpieces. The first up, this is my usual setup. Uh, this is a Yanagasawa 991 soprano sax, curved obviously, uh, nice rich sound to it. Uh, the mouthpiece that I have is a Ron Caravan and uh, I'm playing with a Rovner Mark III ligature and the three and a half Van Doren Blue Box Reed. So the next piece, mouthpiece that I'm going to try uh, is the new Selmer Paris Concept mouthpiece. It's supposed to be a new classical sax uh, mouthpiece offering from Selmer Paris. It's got a curved chamber on the inside. Um, I generally find that the, the C stars are a little too bright for my liking, so uh, I really hope, uh, hope there are some good things to come out of this one. This is the Mark III ligature. Next I've got the Eugene Rousseau new classic mouthpiece. Um, the Selmer doesn't come with any separate tip openings, it's just one, one size fits all. The nice thing about the Eugene Rousseau is you can have a few different tip openings. I think I have the medium, uh, the, the medium tip opening, the medium close. They have a very close tip. Uh, this is the next one up. It also has the Mark, IV, uh, Mark III ligature and again I'm playing it with the Van Doren Blue Box three and a half reeds. The fourth mouthpiece that I'm trying out is the uh, Vandoran Optimum SL3. This is their most closed tipped model. They have a couple different versions. Uh, it's their classic uh, classical saxophone mouthpiece um, with the closed tip. Again, this is the, with the Robner Mark III ligature. An interesting aside, this is the only mouthpiece that I actually have to wrap a piece of paper around my cork uh, to be able to use it. All the other mouthpieces fit the cork really nicely. Uh, the Caravan's probably the smallest. It probably compresses the cork a bit, but all the other mouthpieces fit. But this Van Doren Optimum is uh, quite large compared to the other ones. I also had to use a, uh, a slightly harder read on this. It's still a three and a half, but it's a little bit harder three and a half. So there you have four 
pretty well-known modern classical mouthpieces. You can buy them all new. Um, there's no uh, there's no vintage mouthpieces here. Um, I still love the sound of the Caravan. It has a sweet, unadulterated sound, um, very pure. Um, now, the difference is the other mouthpieces are very, very easy to play. They take very little effort to get sound out of the instrument. The softs are easy. The louds are easy. Um, you got to work a little bit for the Caravan. The Caravan has by far the largest chamber of all of these mouthpieces. Uh, if you look inside um, from the back of the mouthpiece, the chamber is the size of the cork on the, on the neck. Um, if you look on the inside of the other mouthpieces, the chamber is about the size of the inner diameter of the neck. And that makes a huge difference. They all have, um, you know, no baffles on the inside of the uh, on the inside of the, the mouthpiece, um, but the chamber on the caravan is much much larger, and I think that makes a big difference. Um, I think by far uh, that has the nicest sound. Um, if I had to switch, I would probably go to the Selmer. I think the Selmer has a nice um, a nice sound to it. It does get edgy, a little shrill up on the high notes, especially at a loud volume. You know, I found the same for all of those uh, mouthpieces. The Optimum sounds great. Um, it, uh, it definitely, again, very easy to play. The Rousseau is not my favorite, um, but I can certainly see some people really liking the sound um, and using it for, for their instrument. Now, I, I find that I tend to have a brighter sound on most mouthpieces than a lot of other players that I know. I'll hear somebody play uh, a gorgeous dark sound on a Sea Star or on an Optimo mouthpiece, and when I play it, it sounds very shrill. Um, so I guess, you know, everybody's physiology is different and um, everybody sounds a little different depending on the mouthpiece. You got to find the right mouthpiece for the right player. So right now I think I'm going to stick with the Caravan for now. Um, might try a different ligature on there. I just ordered a couple of uh, Van Doren MO ligatures. They're supposed to be very, um, very light. They very, very slightly touch the reed as opposed to the, uh, the Robners, which are, you know, they just completely touch the reed all up and down. Um, so we'll try that. That might give a little bit more projection um, to the caravan. I imagine the other mouthpieces would probably just be too shrill. So I'm a little disappointed that couldn't find quite the sound that I was looking for, but hopefully you found these videos informative and uh, happy playing.